Whoa, you're me. Yes, I'm you from the future. And I brought you the Ubiquiti Unify Protect G4 doorbell. Ubiquiti has stock in the future? Yes, we have stock in the future. I must go now. Thanks. Wait, do the Suns ever win the Super Bowl? The Suns are basketball. <laughs> oh yeah, sports. So I don't know if you remember the previous video here, but uh, this was really annoying. It just won't stop, sometimes it does. Even if I put it on mute, it is still uh, playing here. It's just really, really annoying. That's led me to hunting down the G4 doorbell here from Ubiquity, which is part of the Unify Protect lineup. And since I already have a UDM Pro, I'll be able to add this to the system. So let's go ahead and unbox this. Here is the doorbell. Little uh, QR code for a manual on the back plate. And yeah, it looks like some angle plate to mount it at an angle and some screws. It looks like we have some adapters here for the doorbell lines. So now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the old doorbell and install the new one. So this is interesting here. We've got the card here for the G4 doorbell. And when I go ahead and use the QR code, it shows 404 not found. After looking up the manual, uh, which actually wasn't even found on Ubiquiti site, I found it on a third party site and on Ubiquiti site, they had a video for the installation and it didn't actually cover what this was here. But anyways, the video shows that we install these, uh, look this up and in the actual PDF, this is a uh, for the chime. So if you have a remote chime for it, then you have to put this uh, as you install it into here. Uh, but since I'm just using the standard doorbell wiring in my house and the app on my phone, I will just install with these. Now it says that it's a smart doorbell where I can just put any wire into these here and you just pinch and push it in. I'll straighten this one out here, put it in a little hole here. So then I'll just pinch it, put it inside the hole here and release. Now I'm going to loosen these screws here. Just slide that in and we've got some power. I was giving a chime that it is starting up. Now the way that this connects is it rests on these little teeth on top and then yeah, push it in. There we go. That shows Unify Protect. And then now here on my phone, we can see that the doorbell was picked up here in Unify Protect, so I'll adopt it. And now it is adopting. It's connected to Wi-Fi. Now it is showing that the camera is updating inside of the app. It shows welcome on the doorbell. Wow. Did that actually just work? This is incredible. The doorbell has actually got some pretty low latency and it doesn't completely blow up my phone. So with the app closed and phone in sleep, what does it do? Clear all the notifications. I'll do it again. Okay, so it comes up with the Unify Protect. Tap on that. I can see who's at the door. This looks promising. Hello, hello. Hi. So next I'm gonna to have to go ahead and set this up on my wife's phone and see if she loves or hates it. And then I will go ahead and create another video. So make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss that one. And I'll catch you in the next one.